What's up everybody? So probably about a month ago, um, I went back up to Perenjury um, to shoot the wildflowers and take photos and have a good time. Um, on this trip, I wasn't working, so it was just fun and photos. And I had a pretty good time. Um, got some decent photos, a few things that I'm happy with, a few things that I'm not happy with, and I'm just gonna go through it all in this video. So on the first morning up there, Dad and I decided to go for a walk. Um, I took my Minolta CLE and I took um, a roll of Fuji Industrial 100, which I wanted to test out um, to see how it looks. And I'm pretty happy with the results. We just took a little walk around town, took photos. They were all with the Voigtlander Ultron 28 millimeter. Um, so I hope you enjoy. So after this, we spent the rest of the day just hanging out around town. Um, we had a good fun time watching a plane do some crop dusting. Um, I will say we were standing upwind of the plane whenever it was doing it. So any um, spray that or overspray or anything didn't get anywhere near us. Um, if you're gonna be near planes doing this sort of crop dusting or anything like that, make sure you're upwind um, so you don't get the overspray. Um, but yeah, it was cool seeing the plane do all the crazy things over the highway and the road and um, after this we also uh, found some puppies so we've got a bit of dog footage for you coming up and yeah that was it for the rest of the day. On the second day in the morning we went out with the Pentax 6-7 um, back to the spot where we went with the Minolta CLE the day before. I found some shots that I quite liked um, and so took some photos there. Alright so back out here in Perenjury doing some photos. Um, I got some Ektar 100 that I'm going to be loading in the camera today in the Pentax. I um, had it in the fridge for bloody forever but I think I want to try and get some nice vibrant sort of saturated shots out here I got some really uh, sort of less saturated portrait shots last time and was really kind of missing that sort of bright vividness with all the colors out here so gonna be giving Ektar a try for the first time in a long time
After this, we headed out to some different spots around town for sunset. Last time, I didn't take too many photos around sunset and that really sort of annoyed me. Um, I missed out on some good opportunities and didn't get the best light. Um, I had a roll of Ektar 100, another roll, and um, yeah, went out and found some tractors and some other machinery that was on the side of paddocks and took some nice photos. So on the third day, we decided to head out and find some different spots and go for an explore throughout the day. Um, we went to a really nice four wheel drive track where there was some decent wildflowers, um, nothing too crazy. The season's a little bit later this year, so um, we still missed the real intense wildflowers, but there's always next year. drive track we came across a few different uh, things which we stopped to take photos of. One of the main ones was an old uh, test farm where they would try different techniques on farming and things like that and the buildings were just sort of abandoned and left and they're all falling apart and looks like some people are doing some target practice on them with the guns and everything. Um, so I got some photos there. And then after this, we headed to a place called the Camel Soak, which is a big uh, rock where they drilled massive holes and put water in there for back before they had cars so they could let the camels drink. Um, there was lots of wildflowers and orchids around this area, so I took a few photos there.
All right, so it's editing Lewis here. Um, so I forgot to record a studio talking head bit for this, but um, in this section here, I went to take photos of an old abandoned farmhouse, um, not too far out of town at sunset. I was using um, Ektar 100 again and yeah. So all in all, it was a pretty good trip. Had a lot of fun um, out there taking photos and exploring. Found some really nice places that I might go to next year and spend some decent amounts of time. Um, along the four-wheel drive track looked really awesome. There was one spot which would be amazing for a drone or camping out and just seeing what happens on the rock faces and different things um, in the morning with the light. Um, there was also some emus and kangaroos and other bits and pieces out there. So an interesting little spot. So let me know in the comments down below which were your favorite photos. Um, if you found the video enjoyable, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.